Hey there, my name is Robert Simic and I wanted to let you in today, behind the scenes in a way, and let you witness what kind of powerful transformations are happening inside of my training room. And before I do that, I want you to consider the issue of self-acceptance. I hope you're aware of how deeply and profoundly we get affected by our own ideas about ourselves. And for someone who feels that they're not good enough or, or that they, they don't deserve the good things in life, or that they are not worthy of this and that. Can you even imagine the effects of such beliefs in their reality? This would affect everything in their life, literally. The way they dress, the way they relate to others, how they approach opportunities in life, what their expectations are, and also their health would be affected greatly. They would uh, come across as super shy, uh, hiding from the world, avoiding eye contact, feeling discomfort in just about any environment, even when they are all alone by themselves. So, the quality of life would be greatly affected, to say the least. And the good news is this, it's not real. And it doesn't have to be this way. A simple change of such a core belief can turn everything around. Watch this. I'm about to let you witness such transformation, uh, probably one of the most beautiful demonstrations I've done recently in public. Here you have a beautiful young lady that's been with me in this recent training for a few days, so I had a chance to experience her in her own way. To give you an example, on day one, she walked into the room wearing some gloves on her hands, pretending it's a form of fashion, which we learned later on that it's actually been a form of hiding from the world. She's been acting super shy and rather voiceless, only to blossom like the most beautiful flower at the end of my short session with her. <laughs> I remember a day when she was given a microphone, uh, not on the stage, back there in the room, uh, you know, where she was sitting. She literally couldn't even voice a sound. I can only imagine it was due to perceived pressure uh, of other people's opinions of her. God knows what was going on in her head at the time. And what you're about to see is her and me on the stage when she gathered the courage to raise her hand and volunteer for a belief change demo. She said she's shy and I wanted to help her release that idea from her mind. But very quickly, I learned that behind all that was another core belief that's been haunting her, a belief that she cannot accept herself. So, I hope you care enough about this subject to see a real-life scenario where life gets transformed in minutes and not years of affirmations, where she gives herself another chance in life and rewires her brain um, for a much more compelling way of perceiving herself. So, come inside and watch her transform herself in front of your eyes. So, how can I help? Just speak to me about that. You want to feel self-acceptance. Why don't you? Because I can't. You believe you can't feel self-acceptance? Yes. You can't accept yourself? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, I can't... accept myself, yeah? Mm. What would you like to believe instead? I accept myself. That would be nice, yeah? Mm. I, don't, I can't accept myself, right? It's a limiting decision, we call it, right? I can speak. Loud. Loud. Okay, no need to shut up now. The <laughs> position they the feet over the hand. And the other one. Mm -hmm. 
the, that I used to believe in. Yeah, like, like it's something about acceptance. I accept myself. What do you mean? <laughs> Can I translate? Her eyes were like, Yanni, are you stupid? It's acceptance. <laughs> like, what a kind of stupid person. <laughs> I'm also giving her time to, because she said it, but I think this is the first time she heard herself say that. <laughs> so you give, give her time to like... Mm. Is this new for you? Or did you just know that all the time? No, it's new. I so knew it, you knew it all along? No, it's new. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Anya, yeah? Yeah. 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 yeah? It's a mind, it's a bad mind. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up? How do you feel about yourself? Confident. Confident? Yes. <clears throat> what's happening? Something is changing. Uh-huh. I'm releasing all the blocks okay. that I used to have and the stuttering. I'm shaking, you see. I mean, I can speak now. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, it was a really big deal to me sure. back then, yeah. I was not, I was not, um, able to express myself okay. and to speak up for myself and to do all the, the, the things that I really want to do and achieve in my life. And now, with your magic, I can. <laughs> with your magic, I can. <laughs> You should have joined us earlier on, you're quite fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But somebody who's very self conscious said that. You give them a compliment, they go, I know. <laughs> Only people who don't feel good about themselves can. <laughs> what would happen to the person that tried you to give them a compliment? What do they say? Thank you. Oh, no. Do they even say thank you? They usually don't accept it, or you know, or they just don't, don't enjoy it. I gave a compliment, she was I know. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Alright, is it convincing enough for you that I can share it with her inside? Yeah, the color changed. If you close it, you can her eyes now, it's like uh, there's life inside. She used to hide her eyes. Now she's looking at me. All this was just a self-acceptance. Don't blame me for not giving you this on day one. I didn't know how to do this. I promise you I discovered it last night. <laughs> <laughs> we need to learn some things prior to getting to this place. So Karen, you're saying uh, so all this was because of self-acceptance? Is yeah. that what you said? Yeah, I was suffering my whole life. I couldn't even speak just because of self-acceptance. And it is really important. I didn't know that. I thought I was having other problems. Sometimes I thought I'm crazy. <clears throat> I thought I'm crazy. Or I'm just not normal. And now, after that, I'm shining. Yes, you are. Maybe I can feel it. Yes, you are. 
expand. Mm -hmm. Just fly. I don't know. It's amazing. What else would you like to change? <coughs> Nothing. <I guess. laughs> This is really you. All the time. 27 F, sorry, year. So oh, five years. <laughs> She's learning to speak. Five years. <laughs> Okay, sometimes it just seems like go over question. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we need it, but I got a demo one of them. I used to guys do all the steps when you do this. Okay. By the way, you're not just saying this to, to humor me here. Of course not. I've been doing. Did you see that? She says, of course not. You're enjoying it. <laughs> okay. So, so, step nine. I want you to go out into the future for an unspecified time in the future that will be most appropriate. And imagine the time when something like this will happen again and how do you react, okay? In other words, imagine yourself something in the future where, I don't know, something causes you to evaluate this self-acceptance, you know? Like now. Well, like now, imagine in the future there's this doubt or fault or something comes to mind, just, just not as well. Somebody tells you, Hmm. <laughs> 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 I they can't by the because people's perceptions is their projections usually. You don't listen to the beast. <laughs> Let them try the luck. <laughs> wow. Alright, so that would be good. Oh. Wow. Welcome back. Yeah. Feel calm? Yeah. Inside, right? Amazing. I mean, can you feel it? Yes. <laughs> I need to put some sunglasses. Why are you shouting? <laughs> Okay, day one she comes in. You know, I greet you there, she has some gloves on. And like, really? like, is this not a fashion thing, you know? Yeah. Or is it. Fashion. You know, I love it. That's you? Fashion and hiding. somebody feeling low self-esteem, doubting themselves, being depressed, not having compelling future because of their own hallucinations about her own insignificance, or God knows what. You spend an hour with them, and when I say hour, I mean because you're pre-framing and teaching them all sorts of stuff, prior to doing something like this for five minutes. Do you think that has value in this world? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Back then. laughs> wow, hey? And that was her experience. Now, watch this. Two days later, we are graduating, and while she looks and feels and dresses and, and walks very differently, she's been rather emotional and somewhat lost for words, which is not to be mistaken for being shy. Mind you, she's on the stage, holding a microphone in her hand, she's speaking in front of a group of about 60 people there, and yet feeling at home inside of herself. So it's all good, even though she's struggling for words due to overwhelming, beautiful emotions that are in her way. I'd say a new beginning, a new life, a new story that she'll be enjoying from here onwards. So watch this. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm here. It's real. Yeah, it's real. I mean, I'm not prepared for anything. Um, this was a dream to me, standing here, talking to you guys. I owe you a lot. Uh, 
Mañana es el gol. I love you each and every one of you. Every single word meant a lot. I'm feeling home. And thank you, Karina. Thank you, Sandy and Marwan, for being there. And of course, Robert. All this, what you've uh, said and what you teach, it's really um, gets into me. And um, and there you go. I just had to share this powerful video and make it eternal in video form like this. God knows I had so many priceless interventions that I've done in my life and sadly, most of them I will never even remember, you know, on my own, without a reminder like this that I can look back on one day and enjoy the meaning behind the idea of what I've done with my time in this world, how many people I've helped and how many lives I've touched in such a meaningful way. And if any of this inspires you to take action and educate yourself in this way, learn how to create such powerful transformations for yourself or people around you, then reach out. I'm just one email, one phone call away. There's so much unnecessary pain and suffering in this world and today we certainly have the knowledge and the skills to turn lives around and provide genuine, lasting change and be of help. So if you care and if you're a giver, come join me and let me show you a way that really helps. Alright, that's it for now. Until I see you again, sending you all my love and gratitude. Mwah.